Now, next section, brothers and sisters, in which the possessor is a definite noun. These are also definite nouns, but they had tanween. Huh? Proper nouns are all definite. So they had also tanween. Okay? Now we have nouns coming with al. So, brothers and sisters, maktabul al mudarrisu. How will you say now? Maktabul mudarri si. Maktabul mudarri si. Maktabul mudarri si. Okay? Miftahun al baitu. Miftahul baiti. Because al, remember that hamza is hamzatul wasal. If it is in the middle somewhere, we assimilate it. We don't pronounce it. So you will say, Miftahul Baiti. You cannot say, Miftahu Al Baiti. That will be wrong. Okay. Dukkanun Attajiru. So you will say, Dukkanut Tajiri. How will you say, brother? Dukkanut Tajiri. Dukkanut Tajiri. Okay. Baitun Al Muhandisu. Baitul Muhandisi. Are you with me? Very good. Ismul Ismul Al Waladu. Ismul Waladi. Very good. Kitabun Allahu. Kitabullahi. What is it? What is this, brother? Mudaf Mudafilehi. Huh? Remember that. Mudaf. Mudafilehi. Okay. Bintun at Tabibu. Bintut Tabibi. Bintut Tabibi. Very good. Miftahun as Sayaratu. Miftahus Sayarati. What will you say? Miftahus Sayarati. Sun letter, brother. Okay. Cars key. Key of the car. Do you understand? Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Mudaf, Mudafili. Very good, brother. Now, Ikra, Waktub, read and write. Ma means with. Dapti means with proper vowel signs on the awahi, on the end of the kalimat, words. Okay, brother. What is the first one, brothers and sisters? Babul. Uh, no, Babul Madrasati. What is it? Babul Madrasati. See, there are no vowel signs. Uh, those who have the new books, they will find it. Uh, but the, uh, our books don't have it. Uh, in two weeks' time, we will get a new consignment of new books. If you wish, you can then have that, brother. Okay? Next, brother, what is the next compound? Himarur Raju Li. Himarur Raju Li. Himarur Raju Li. Okay. What is the translation? Donkey after man. Man after donkey. Man after donkey. Okay. Okay. Donkey of the man. Okay. Next one, brother. Baitu Hamidin. House of Hamid. Very good, brother. Sayaratul Mudiri. What will you say? Sayaratul Mudiri. Car of the headmaster. Next one, brothers and sisters. Mindilu Amma Rin. Handkerchief of Amma. Very good. Is it clear, brother? All of you agree with me? Uh, it's clear, inshallah. Huh? Okay. If not, then you can again ask me later on, inshallah. Ismut Talibi. What will you say? Ismut Talibi. Name of the student. Very good. Next one, that's very easy, brother. Baitullahi. We always say Baitullah. Baitullah. But we never say Baitullahi. Correctly, it is Baitullahi. Why he? Because it is mudafilehi. And mudafilehi is always majroor. Huh? Fine, brother. Now comes something that is little tricky. But we will try to understand. Huh? Okay, brother. I forgot to write this. This will be written like Kitabul 
مدرسی مداف مداف لے ہی now I am writing here فی and then کتاب first we do without the fee first we do without the fee if i say to you like this what kind of a vowel sign you will put on it dhamma kitabullah book of allah fine brother i'll put dhamma here but now fee has come in front of it and what does fee do it makes the ism majroor it gives it a kasra huh? ism majroor huh? remember if i tell you harf jar ism majroor you will always reply me ism majroor it will make it majroor okay now fi came then this change into majroor kitabi huh? and then allahi is there no the effect of fi is only up to one noun it it has no control over here no control over here but huh fi kitabil lahi now if i were to analyze how do i analyze harf char ism majroor but then at the same time they have a relationship mudaf mudaf ile so it, in other words this thing is one compound and brother and sister this has another compound so we have here fi harf jarrin and then this is ismu ismun majrurun ism majrur plus ہوا uh, مداف it is مداف and then what will this be مداف الہی uh, are you with me brothers and sisters in other words if they say phrase like this coming in the book or coming in the Quran brothers and sisters Uh, coming in the Quran it will be harf char ism majroor wa huwa mudaf and then mudaf ilay are you with me okay we will be repeating it many times uh, because I feel that if I show you how to do simple analysis now then in book 2 and book 3 you know and then when the quran will come in front of us brother you will understand it beautifully directly that is our aim to understand quran directly in arabic the quran has to be read in arabic and understood in arabic the miracle of the quran is the language of the quran brother message of guidance is there but how was the message brought down it's a miracle What is the miracle of Prophet Musa alayhi salam? Asa. Stick. Huh? It's gone. We don't have it now. What was the Prophet of Hadar Isa? He gave uh, eyes to the blind. He raised a dead person. Huh? He gave life with the permission of Allah. okay but are those person here to show us that i was dead and i became alive they are gone allah subhanahu wa taala in his infinite wisdom gave prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a miracle that will remain miracle till the end of time and if you don't know the language you will never feel that miracle brother it's up to you and up to us but as a muslim we must read the quran in arabic and we must understand in arabic huh? that is what is our responsibility 
as long as we live here. And brother, as a non-Arabs, we got to make an effort. And Allah will make it easy on us. And we will learn the language of the Quran. We learn everything. Did we know computer when we were born? No, we learn later on in life. You became a doctor or engineer or a, a lawyer or whatever you name it. You all learned everything, your trade. What about the language of the Quran? We got to learn that too, inshallah. Okay, brother, having said this, so, fi kitabillahi. Now, what's the next one? Min. Uh, uh, what's the next line, Sister Salma? Min. Bai. Bai til. Look, you cannot say two now. Min has come. Are you with me? Harf jar? Isam majroor. Min. Bai. Til. Mudarrisi. You got to write it. Huh? Okay. And brothers and sisters, if you make a mistake, what is my advice to you? Don't worry. Huh? Because I tell you, I have had students who told me some took two weeks to understand mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Some took maybe more than that. So the, the concept to sink in your mind may take a little longer. Some of you may get it in one day, brother. So you should not be worried, inshallah. We are going to do it slowly, slowly, inshallah. What is the next one? Allah. Maktabil. Mudiri. Are you with me? So how will you analyze min baitil mudarrisi? Min harfujar baiti isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafilahi. Ala maktabil mudiri. What is ala? Harfcha. What is maktabi? Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And mudafilahi. Brother, in the handout we have given you some of the most uh, frequently used um, harfjars. What is harfjar in English? Preposition. Huh? There is a list of preposition given. <clears throat> what are they? What are these? Are all? These are all jar majrur, and they are from the Quran. Read it and feel it. Uh, they are all from Quran. Okay? Every day. So, brother, what are the half jars? Allah, min, ila, fi, an, li, and b. Uh, b. B with kasra is a half jar. Brothers and sisters, every single day you say, well, we don't know how many times we all say. Now, today, we are going to analyze it. <laughs> we are going to analyze it. Okay. okay, now this is B and this is SM. Okay, now see the Hamza of SM is Hamzatul Wasal. If it comes in the beginning of the sentence, we will pronounce it like Ismul Waladi. But it did not come in the beginning, something ill else came in the front, then that Hamzatul Wasal will not be pronounced. Okay? So I am writing here. Brother, now you analyze it. What is B? Afjar. What is Isim? Isim, isim Majroor. Wahua huh? Mudaf. And then Mudaf. If you took out B, what will, how will you pronounce now? Ismullahi. What will you say? Ismullahi. Bring B. Bismillahi. Bismillahi. So, Brother Muhammad, Afjar, Ism Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, and then Mudaf Ilahi. Got the idea? And what is after that? Bismillah, Rahma, Nirrahim. When we go to lesson number nine, then we will analyze the whole thing. Huh? Slowly, slowly, brother. One day, inshallah, we will analyze the, the salat we pray. So that you know what you are saying in your salah. 
and you will, inshallah, enjoy it, brother. Okay, now, this is not the way Bismillah is written in the Quran. It's not. The only time it is written differently, it is in the Quran. It is from the time of Hadrat Uthman, radiallahu anhu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Because you don't pronounce Hamzatul Wasal, they eliminate. Only in the Quran. Otherwise, normally you have to write down. Huh? Okay? Hamzatul Wasal, if it is not pronounced, but it's still written. It is written. It may not be pronounced. But in this case, Hamzatul Wasal, because it is not pronounced, it has been dropped. Huh? So how do you say now, brother? Now I tell you what is B, Harsha. What is Ism? Ism Majru. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudafili. Got the idea, brother? It's simple and wonderful. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Now we go to brother. Uh, we go to lesson number five again. I want to revise because it's important. We don't want to rush. Before we do that, Again, a general explanation. Nouns in Arabic decline according to the functions they play in the sentence. Huh? In English, we say noun decline in three cases. Nominative case, accusative case, and genitive case. In Arabic, we say the noun can be marfu, noun can be mansub, and noun can be majroor. Huh? Okay? According to the functions they play. Sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. Okay, there are two kinds of, kinds of sentences. One is called jumla ismia, and other is called jumla failia. Huh? Right now, we try to understand in the most uh, simple way that if there is a jumla ismia, the sentence will begin with a noun. That is why it is called jumla ismia because then sentence will begin with a noun. Okay. In Jumla Ismiya, we are looking for two things. We are looking for Muptada and Khabar. In English, we say we are looking for subject and predicate. Huh? And I told you, brother, Muptada is always Marfu. Always Marfu. Muptada is always Marfu. And Khabar, if it is one word, it's Marfu. No Mansu. Mansu are coming in book two. Huh? Don't worry. Don't worry. Huh? Muptada, Muptada, Marfu. Khabar, Marfu. Are you with me, brother? Okay. Then we learned in lesson number four that Khabar can also be Jarun wa Majrurun. If I say Jarun wa Majrurun means there is a harf jar followed by Ism Majrur. Huh? Muhammadun. What is Muhammadun? Muptada. Marfu. Muptada. Okay, what is, what is the khabar? Fil masjidi. What is it? Fil masjidi. So what is fil masjidi? Fi, harf char, al masjidi, jar majrur, and majur, isam majrur. Jarun majrur, we say shibu jumla. What is the meaning of shibu jumla? Phrase. Huh? It is all in the handbook, Sister uh, Mainas. Ab dekhenge, inshallah, when you will go through it. We did this because for four days, we have been trying to understand all these things. Inshallah, you will understand in one day, inshallah. Are you with me? What is phrase? A group of words which does not make complete sense. In the masjid. Doesn't make sense. When you say, Muhammadun is in the masjid, now it makes sense. So, Muhammadun Muftada. Then where is the khabar? Fil masjid. Fi harfchar. Masjid isam majroor. Together we say, Jarun wa majroorun. Are you with me? Jarun wa majroorun. Okay? Shubu jumla khabar. Al kitabu Muftada. Al al maktabi. Jar majroor. Shibu Jumla Allah on Maktabi desk. Huh? 
Okay, look at this, brothers and sisters. Are you watching me? Describe this. Al Kalamu Al Al Maktabi. What is Al Kalamu? Mubtada. What is Al Al Maktabi? Jarun, Majrurun, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Okay? Fine, brother. Now, we start like that and we carry on with Sa'idun. Huh? What is Sa'idun saying? A kitabu Muhammadin haza. A kitabu Muhammadin haza. How will you do you translate, brother? Is this book of Muhammad? Now, if you want, huh, you can do one thing with pencil. You can circle kitabu Muhammadin. Huh? Are you with me? So what is Kitabu Muhammadin, brothers and sisters? Mudah, mudah filehi. You can circle it if you want. If you want. Huh? If you are strong, you don't need to circle it. But okay. Now remember one thing, brothers and sisters. We will not analyze questions. Only statements. Not all of them in the book. But whenever we feel, we will give it a try. Okay. La. What is la, brother? Harfu jawab. It's a particle of answering. It's a harf. Okay. All the words in Arabic language can be put into three groups. What are those three groups? Nouns, verbs, and particles. Very good, brother. Okay. Now, what is the next one, brother? Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Where is the book of Muhammad. You can again circle if you want Kitabu Muhammadin or underline it. Whatever you want to do it. You can even underline it. Where is the book of Muhammad? Brother. Huwa. What is Huwa? It is Mubtada. Where is the Khabar? Alal Maktabi. Ala Harfchar. Maktabi. Isim Majur. And what is Hunaka? Hunaka is a zarf. It's telling you about a place. Huh? It is adverb. Zarf. Zarf. Huh? Zarfu makan. Because it is telling you a place. Huh? Zarfu makan. In English, adverb of place. Huh? Zarfu makan. Huh? Okay, fine. It's also in the book, Sister Manas. Fine. Aina daftaru ammarin. Where is the notebook of ammar? Are you with me? Where is it? Okay. Huwa Muftida. Where is the khabar? Alal Maktabi. Char Majrur Shibu Jumla khabar. But let us analyze, brother. Ala Harf Char. Where is the some Majrur? Maktabi. But there is something more following it. Then it is Mudaf and then Mudafili. We will say Huwa Mudaf and Mudafili. Very good, brother. Kalamu man haza ya Ali. Kalamu man haza. Brother, this you should circle. Kalamu man is a mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Pen of who, whom. Or in English we'll say, whose pen is this? Or you can say, pen of who. You can say. You know, in, a, in order to translate in a way that we understand, mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Pen of who. You use of there. Huh? So, kalamu man is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Huh? Okay. See, how, what is the sign that it is mudaf? Because it does not have alif, it does not have tanween. So, it is mudaf, mudaf. This compound. It is a compound. Okay. Hadha. Tell me, brother. Hadha. Hadha muftada. You know, where is the khabar? Kalamu. Because... Here it is, does the kalamu have one, one uh, vowel sign? No al? Huh? So this is your khabar. And also does it have a dhamma? So khabar is always marfu. It is marfu. Huh? Bahuwa mudaf and then mudaf ilayhi. Sahi? Inshallah. Aina hakibatul mudarrisi. Hakibatul mudarrisi. Handbag of the teacher. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, now remember, it is mudah mudah Okay, what is the answer? 
here. Why here, brother? Because it refers to Hakiba. Hakiba too, which is feminine. Okay. In Arabic, noun is always masculine or feminine. No in between, brother. Here, Mubtada. Now tell me where is the khabar? Tahta. What is tahta? Under. Fine, brother. More than that. It is a zarf. It's an adverb. Tahta means under. Tahta is an adverb of place. Huh? Zarfu makan. Huh? And we learned last Thursday. Now we repeat it again. If there is a zarf, not all the zarf, but many zarf, if there is a zarf, it will behave as if it is mudaf. Then if it is mudaf, then, then we should have mudaf ilahi. Huh? So tahta is a zarf. It behaves like a mudaf. So then what is al-maktabi? Mudaf ilahi. And it is majroor. Huh? Sister Fatima, al-maktabi. Why maktabi? Because it is ism majroor. Because it is mudaf ilahi. It became majroor. Are you with me brother? Is it clear? So remember that. Now I tell you one thing. Here, Muftada, where is the khabar? Tahta. You will say tahta, zarf. And then you will again say shibu jumla. Huh? Shibu jumla khabar. Are, are you with me? Shibu jumla khabar. Huh? And then al mudarrish, al maktabi, mudafili. Huh? Now let us summarize. We are going to learn how many kinds of khabar. Slowly, slowly. Huh? Some scholars can just say only three kinds. But for simplicity's sake, I say five kinds. Huh? And then we will learn them. Okay. So, so, so far how many different kinds of khabar we have learned? Three. What is it? Either it is one word. If it is one word, then it is always, always marfu, brother. Never, never anything else. Always marfu. Huh? And if it is not one word, then there is a possibility. It is charun wa majroorun. Huh? Like a muhammadun fil baiti. Okay? Muhammad is in the house. So fil baiti is your khabar. Jarun majroon. See here I say muhammadun talibun. Muhammad is a student. What is Muhammad? Muftada. What is Talibun? Khabar. See, one word. And Khabar is most of the time indefinite. Muftada most of the time is always definite. Fine. Muhammadun Talibun. Fine. Muhammadun Fil Fasli. Muhammad is in the classroom. What is Muhammad? Muftada. Where is Khabar? Fil Fasli. Fi harf jar, al fasli isam majru. Jar majru, shibu jumla, khabar. Now, Muhammad is sitting under the tree. So I will say, Muhammadun tahta shajarati. What did I say? He is under the tree. Muhammadun tahta shajarati. Tahta is a zarf, it behaves like a mudaf. So shajarati is now mudafilahi. Majru. Huh? So, okay, Muhammad Muftada. What is Tahta? Zarf. And then you will say, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? But in the case of Zarf, Sister Mainas, we won't say it is Mudaf. We will only say it is Zarf. And then the noun which is coming after it is Majroor, we will say it is Mudaf. Huh? Again, brother, Muhammadun Tahta Shajarati. Okay. Muhammadun Muftada. Tahta Zarf. Uh, zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Are you with me? And then what about the Shajarati? Mudafilah. Khalas. That's the way we analyze. Okay, brother? That's the way we analyze. Okay. Now, I want to do a little more. And then we will take only 15 minutes break, huh, inshallah. Not long, huh, brother? Okay. <clears throat> Ikra. Page number 28. Hmm? <clears throat> because I have to explain you a lot of things in this, brothers and sisters. Okay. 
Ikra. Read. Aina Baitul Mudarrisi. Only translation. What is it, brother? Aina Baitu. Because it is Mudah Mudafilehi. Baitul Mudarrisi. Can you say Baiti? No. Why not? Because no harfjar came there. Aina is not harfjar. Okay? And also we don't analyze questions. What is the answer? Huwa ba'idun. What is the meaning of it? It's far. Huh? So where is our muftida? Huwa. Where is our khabar? Do you see, it is, do you see it's marfu? And it's one word? Huh? Marfu and one word? Very good. Now comes, brother, second, what is the first word? Al-Qur'anu. Huh? Okay, I would like you to do something, eh? Sister uh, Salma, you were confused, that's normal, okay? I'm writing the sentence, okay, brother? Al-Qur'anu. Kitabul Lahi. Huh? I want you to do with a pencil. With a pencil. What is the meaning of that? I pour, it's a muftida. So I want to separate it so that I don't get confused. In the beginning, if you do all these small, small things, it will help you. Al Quranu. Okay, then we want our khabar. Where is the khabar? Kitabullah. It cannot be kitabi. Huh? Because if you combine it, then you are getting confused. al Quranu khalas. Kitabullah. So where is the khabar? Kitabu. Khabar, if it is one word, is always marfu. If you say kitabullah, then this is majroor. Eh, 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 no, that is not right. Remember I told you, Dr. Abdurrahim told me, that many students who are coming from Dini Madrasas into the university in Medina, and they have been, uh, you know, rata lagana. <laughs> they, just, they just memorize it without thinking. And teacher says, where is the khabar? They say, kitabullah. So Dr. Abdurrahim said, where is the khabar? He said, Kitabullah. He said, no, that's not correct. I told you that khabar is always marfu. So, where is the marfu? One word, kitabu. This is your khabar. Because khabar has to be marfu. Okay. He said, no. My teacher says, Kitabullah is the khabar. Doctor said, but you know, it is majroor. Khabar cannot have a kasra. Huh? If it is a noun. And if it is one word. But he would not Agree. Because he said, he thought his teacher was, uh, you know, his ustad was a sheikh, and he's right. <laughs> anyway. So, brother, we learn, kitabu is your khabar. Okay. What more? Wahuwa muda. What is it? Wahuwa muda. Sahi? And then what is this? Muda filahi. So, this is how you will do it. Okay, brother and sisters. Next one. Al Kaabatu put a line. That way you separate your Muftida. Al Kaabatu. What about Kaabatu, brother? Tell me the news. Muftada. And what is the news? Baitu. Wahua Muda. And then, see, Sister Salma, we had not done it. You tried to do on your own, you got a little confused, but it's normal, you know. We all, brothers and sisters, it's, sometimes it's better to make a mistake, you know, because we learn from our mistakes. We get stronger, then we never make mistake again, inshallah. Okay, brother, al kabatu if you put a line, okay, what is the news? Baitullahi. So, where is the khabar? Baitu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf. Got the idea, brother? What is Allah then? Mudaf ilayhi. Yes. It's majroor. Okay. Kaaba is the house of Allah. House is the, what is Kaaba? It is a house. House of Allah. So, of Allah is majroor. You know, and the khabar is always marfu. Very good, brother. 
Muhammadun. Remember? Muhammadun. Brother, do one thing. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Put it into a bracket. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, this is not. That, in the, later on we will learn. This is called parenthetical clause. It has got nothing to do with what we are saying. You could have said that the actual sentence is Muhammadun Rasulullah. But as a Muslim, whenever we say Muhammad, we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That has got nothing to do with what we are trying to say. Huh? Okay. So it is called, you know, parenthesis, parenthetical class. Okay. Same way, if I say Allah, who, and then even immediately I say Subhanahu Wa Taala, that is also parenthetical class. Huh? Okay. Fine. Muhammadun. What is about? What about Muhammadun? Muhammadun. 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 It is Muhammadun. Oh, where is the khabar? Rasul. Only Rasul. Wa huwa mudaf. And then Allahi mudaf ilayhi. Are you with me, brother? Abdul Qadir? You are getting there, brother? Inshallah. Next one, brother. Oh, okay. Yes. The actual sentence is... What is your actual sentence, brother? This is the sentence I wrote first day on the board. Muhammadun. Okay, brother. I put a line to separate Muftada and Khabar. What is Muhammad, brother? Muftada. Huh? How will you translate? Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Now we say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that has got nothing to do with the sentence. Uh, it's a separate thing that we are putting in. Uh, okay? So, Muhammad, Muftada, brother, what about the news? Rasulu. And what is Rasulullahi? Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. But first and foremost is Rasulu is your khabar. Wahua mudaf. And then mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? Now we come, brothers and sisters. Yes. So, the reason why it's Rasulullahi is because Muhammadan is not a harfjar, right? Brother, harfjar? Harfjar, brother? You know, there are. How many harfjars we have studied so far? Fi, ila, Allah and Min. Huh? Now, brother, these are harfcha. And on page number 8, on top, see in the handout? In the handout, page number 8, you will see all the harfcha. Now, Muhammad is a noun, brother. And Muptada is always a noun. Huh? Harfcha cannot be, become Muptada. Can never be Muptada. You know why? Because Muptada is always marfu. Why? Muptada is always marfu, brother. So what is Muhammadun? Is it a harf or a noun? It's a noun, brother. That is why it has got Dhamma there. Huh? Okay, so if you say Muhammadun, do you see dun, dun, dun? Okay, so that is your, that is your marfu. That is your muftada. Are you with me? And then what else is here? Rasulu. Rasulu. What khabar? Marfu again. One word. Wahua mudaf. And then mudaf. Didn't I tell you, brother Farooq? If I say dun, it's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majroor. Okay? Therefore, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din. Brother, 
Don't take it as a joke. I'm taking it as a very seriously. Don, don, marfu, dan, mansur, din, majroor, brother. So you are reminding yourself. Don, don, dan, dan, din, din. Huh? Means marfu, mansur, majroor. What is it? The noun can have three cases. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, next one, brother, number five. Kharaja. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I did not say ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I said, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> kharaja. What is kharaja? Fear. What kind of sentence is this? Huh? No, no. Kharaja is jumla failure. What is it? Jumla failure. What I am looking for in Jumla Fail? I am looking for Fail and I am looking for Fail. And again I told you last week, Fail is always, always, you forgot? Marfu. Fail is always, always Marfu. Okay? Remember this. So, what is Kharaja and what is next one, brother? Mudarri. So, eh? Kharajal mudari so min gorfatil mudiri. Okay? Now, this is jumla failure. When the jumla failure comes, I look for fiel and I look for file. That is the most important things that I have to discover and identify in jumla Failure. And the rest of the things are all complementary. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Kharaja. What is Kharaja? Fial Mahdi. Is it Fial Mahdi? Yes, it is Fial Mahdi. Where is the uh, file? No, brother. Al Mudarrisu. Remember, uh, in, in, in Hua and Hia, I told you last time, file can be Mustatir. Or can be maujud in the sentence. Uh, so you to, before you jump to the conclusion, mustatir, look into the sentence. Maybe it is coming little further down the road. But then we have to read the whole sentence and then uh, figure out the file. Fine, brother. So mudarisu is your file. Okay. What is min arfchar? What is gurfati? Is no 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 khabar. Khabar is only in Jumla Ismiya, not in Jumla failure. Remember that. And that is also normal because so far we are doing so much of Jumla Ismiya that we are always looking for Khabar. Even if it is not there, we are looking for it. <laughs> so don't worry. Okay. Khabar, Muftada Khabar in Jumla Ismiya. Jumla failure, fiel and file. Are you with me? Okay, min. What is min? Harfcha. What is al gurf? What is gurfati? Isam majru. Wahua mudaf. And then where is mudaf? You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. We'll. Do. Okay. Now. Okay. There is one more thing. But we'll do sixth one, and then I'll stop. Haza. What is haza? Muftada. Okay, brother. Put a line there. Huh? What is now khabar? Baitu. Baitu only. Hada baitu. And what will be the next word? Hami din. So our khabar is baitu wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Wa. What is wa? Ataf. Conjunction. Ataf. Zalika. What is zalika? Zalika. Muftada. Muftada. Put a line there. After Zalika. Uh, got the idea? Uh, I'm just telling you these things so that you know uh, it will make a lot of uh, things l will become simpler. Right? Okay? Zalika. Muftada. Where is the khabar? Baitu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then Khalidin. Mudaf. Lehi. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Uh, brother, we are going to do a lot of practices. This whole lesson devotes itself 
on Mubtada, Khabar, plus now it is Mudaf Mudafili. So far, brothers and sisters, so far, so far, the Khabar is coming as a Mudaf. But Mubtada can be Mudaf too. Okay, I give you a simple sentence, Sister Salma. Baitullahi Baitullahi Fi Makkah Translate The house of Allah is in Makkah huh? Okay, so where is Mubtada? Baitu, not Allah no, <laughs> Only Baitu Remember, Mubtada is Marfu if you say Baitullahi, then Allah is Majroor. It cannot be part of Mubtada. So here is Mudah, Mudah in the beginning. Baitullahi. So Baitu is Mubtada. Wahua Mudah. And Allah Mudah And hey, where is the Khabar? Fi, Arfchar. And Makkah is a Majroor. Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Huh? Okay? Are you with me, brother? Okay. If I tell you, Ibn Muhammadin, translate, son of Muhammad, Ibn Muhammadin, fil masjidi, where is Mubtada? Ibn only, Ibn only, wa huwa mudaf, and Ibn Muhammadin mudafili. Okay, where is the khabar? Fil masjidi. Fil Masjidi. Are you with me, brother? Okay. Ibn Hamidin Tahta Sajarati. Translate, brother. Ibn Hamidin, son of Hamid, is under the tree. So, where is Muftada? Ibn. Wahua Muda. And then Muda Filehi. What is Tahta? Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then what is Sajarati? Muda Filehi. Are you with me? Inshallah, we are going to do 